Hi guys, welcome back to Amobi channel. After buying a new iPhone or you got a second hand iPhone, many friends want to copy the important information from the previous Android phone to your new iPhone. This includes your contacts, text messages, photos, videos, and even WhatsApp. These data are very important to us. But Android phones and iOS are running to different operating systems, therefore it is not an easy task to transfer data from Android to iOS. So how can we transfer them from Android to iPhone quickly and easily? Today's video will show you two efficient ways, let's get started. No matter which method we're about to use, make sure your device meets the following points. The purpose is to ensure the stability and success of the Android to iPhone data transfer. Firstly, make sure both of your phone is fully charged if the battery is low. The transfer process will be interrupted. Secondly, make sure both of your phones have a stable Wi-Fi connection. Thirdly, make sure the iPhone has enough space or your data has no space to store. If you have prepared well, let's move on. Method 1. Transfer data by Move to iOS app. Move to iOS is an app that Apple officially developed to help users who switched from an Android device to an iPhone. That sounds perfect, but it has a shortcoming that cannot be ignored. You have to erase your iPhone to use this feature because it only works on the quick start step. This means you will lose all existing data whether your iPhone is an absolutely new device. If you don't need to save the data on your current iPhone, then please continue to refer to this method. If not, please jump directly to method 2. First, we need to erase our iPhone, go to Settings, and click General. Scroll down to the bottom and then click Reset option, click Erase All Content and Settings. Keep clicking Erase option, then you need to enter your password and Apple ID password. OK. The erase process is starting now. Wait patiently till the process is done. Now we need to set up iPhone step by step until we see the apps and data screen on the quick start screen. Click set up manually and then continue to follow the on screen instructions. You may be asked to activate your ESM, then we enter app and data page. Choose the Move Data from Android option. Now let us operate the Android phone. Let's go to Google Play Store. Download and install the Move to iOS app, then open it. Tap on Continue on both your Android and iPhone. Tap Agree and then Next on your Android phone. Here on iPhone, we can see the Move from Android screen. Tap Continue. Then wait for a 10-digit or 6-digit code. Enter the code then on your iPhone. Then we need to join the same Wi-Fi on iPhone and Android phone. After that, we can see all kinds of data on Android phone that we can choose to transfer. As you can see, it's saying transfer complete here on my Android phone and transfer complete here on my iPhone. It means the transfer process is done. Method 2. Transfer data in one click. OK. If you successfully transferred the data via method 1, congratulations. Of course, I know that there are still some friends who don't want to lose iPhone data and maybe are tired of the complicated steps of method 1. Then a professional iOS data management tool will provide you with the greatest help at this time. It is called Anytrans. This tool allows you to transfer 27 types of data from Android to iPhone, iPad, like photos, videos, call logs, contacts, WhatsApp data, text messages, etc. The best part is it only takes a few minutes to transfer thousands of files in one click. Anyway, it is worth trying. Just download it in the video description. Now launch Anytrans on your computer and connect both your Android and iPhone to computer via USB cables. Then choose Phone Switcher on the left panel, select Phone to iPhone mode. Select your source device and target device, then click the Next button to continue. Click on the Next button to start transferring Android files to your iPhone. All supported files will be checked by default. 
Wait for a moment. This process will be completed in a short while. Okay, that's all of two methods of transferring data from Android phone to iPhone. If you think they are helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more tips. See you next time.